So welcome to our next kind of subtopic and our introductory kind of math start uh, to level two NCA physics. Um, and today we're going to look at significant figures. So before we begin, let's look at the concept of significant zeros, because zeros become very important when we're dealing with um, data in physics. And there are four particular rules. So the first rule is that zeros in the middle of a number are indeed very significant. Okay, so there's a couple of examples there, 94.072 and 94.072, they all count towards being uh, significant. The second rule is that zeros at the beginning of a number are not significant. So 0 0.5, the first one's not. 0 0.0834, as we see here, those first two are not. Okay, uh, and the third rule is that zeros at the end of the number um, and after the decimal point are indeed significant. Okay, so there's the example there of 138.200, those are significant. And finally, uh, the fourth rule, which is a bit airy fairy, um, depending on context, is that zeros at the end of the number and before an implied decimal point may or may not be sig significant. Okay, and it'll depend on the context. So there's a couple of uh, general rules uh, for significant figures, which we're now going to look at. And the first one is uh, when you're dealing with significant figures and multiplication uh, or division. So in that particular case, you cannot have more significant figures than those of the smallest of the original numbers in terms of significant figures. And in the physics context, that just basically says you can't have a number um, more precise than the numbers or variables you've started with. So here's the example here. Um, you're looking at a fuel efficiency of miles per gallon, not metric, but still. Uh, so the idea we're kind of pro-trying doesn't make a difference. Um, so distance is measured in three significant figures. The volume is measured in four significant figures. So the actual uh, calculation answer of 23.8 miles per gallon is three significant figures because the smallest uh, value is going to be that of the distance at 278, three significant figures. And the other rule you have to know for significant figures is the addition and, uh, multi, uh, sorry, addition and subtraction of significant figures. And basically it's the same thing about imprecise numbers. Your answer should only have the same number of unit placings as the most imprecise number. So using the example we have here, if you add 0 0.11 to 0 0.1, the answer you get from your calculator will be 0 0.21, but in terms of significant figures, because 0 0.01 has less significant figures than 0 0.11, then the answer has to be 0 0.02. Okay, rounded to at least. Uh, and you can see also at the bottom there, that's a, the, the process I tend to use. I do the calculation kind of um, that logical way. And you can see that red line there will help you to determine uh, how many significant figures you have to uh, show for your answer when it comes to rounding. 